You want to know how I made these here? Get into this video. These are pumpkin spice candied walnuts. Just a few ingredients. And I even show you how to make your own pumpkin spice. Spice seasoning. Look at that, y'all. Good and delicious. Come on. Get this video. Ooh. Get this video. So now I'm going to show you something. Y'all, it is cold here. We find it getting a little cold. This is my favorite time of the year. Fall is in to me. And so let's see what's going on. Let me show you what the skies look like. See how our skies are in the trees. And, and it's cold here. So let's get in here and see what I'm doing. So let's get in here and see what I'm doing because we got another pumpkin spice type of dish. It's not a dish, but it's a treat. So let's see. Hey everybody, right. this is T. Brown back again with another video. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you all for coming back and seeing what T. Brown is doing again. Thank you. But before we get into this video, Yes, right here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit a thumbs up as well. Leave a comment down below. Share the videos everywhere you go. Tell them that T-Bob is over here doing some pumpkin spice stuff over here on this video. <laughs> now, like I told you, this is a series of pump. all things are pumpkin or pumpkin spice. Now, of course, we know all things ain't pumpkin. But, you know, when I say that, I'm saying it based on what I'm making on this channel. And like I said, you know... If you're new here, thank you for coming. If you're old, thank you for staying here rocking with me, and I appreciate you. I appreciate my new rockers, too. Thank you. Um, my name is t Blog, and my sometimes my daughter, she bees on here with me sometimes, Icy Freeze. And um, this series is based on all things of pumpkin or pumpkin spice. If you want to come in and be a part of this here. I mean, like I said, you can make, we can make it a collab if you would like to. However, you know, it, it don't have to necessarily be a collab. You can just come on in and um, whenever you make something that is pumpkin or pumpkin spice, uh, just hashtag um, uh, at T Simple Meals, at Simple Meals in your title and then say, um, you know, whatever your title is going to be for whatever you made with the pumpkin or pumpkin puree or pumpkin spice, okay? So now I'm coming to you guys with a treat. So this is not, it's a recipe, but it's a treat, okay? So I'm making a few of these because I want to add these on some um, yogurt, okay? Yes, I'm going to add some in my yogurt. And you can use it on salads. You can use it on whatever you choose to, okay? Now, with that being said, I am making some pumpkin spice candy walnuts. Yes, y'all. I have a whole bag of walnuts here that I have bought at Sam Club. And I've been munching on them. <laughs> I get a handful every so often. And I eat my walnuts, yo. Know. Now, you know walnuts, walnuts, almonds, um, let's say what is pistachios and all those type of nuts have some good magnesium and vitamins and things that are pertaining to them okay this is my little strip where i'll put up my little eat on but with that being said you guys i'm gonna bring this little spice treat to you guys and let's get in here and see now i'm gonna make the pumpkin spice mixture first and then i'm gonna go from there so that way you can get the recipe for the pumpkin spice mixture okay and when you need to use pumpkin spice you already have it mixed up okay so let's get in here before we make those candy walnuts all right all right y'all how are you all today so now we're preparating these uh candy walnuts that is cinnamon that there is some nutmeg we have here some cloves there we go close up and I have some allspice. Now, if you don't like allspice, you don't have to use it. And then we have some ginger. These are the spices that I use for my pumpkin spice seasoning, okay? Or spice, what you call it. So now I'm opening up the ginger. And I have to get me a little fork to kind of, you know, scrape it up because, hey, 
this is some organic fresh ginger. So I'm using a half a teaspoon of ginger, but, I'm a, but all of these seasoning and spices, I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of. Okay, so now we got the ginger in, and now we're going for the cinnamon. So I use just a little bit more cinnamon than I did all, so I use like a full teaspoon of cinnamon, but it's okay. <laughs> How many of you all like pumpkin spice? And how many of you all like walnuts? Would this be a recipe that you would like to try? Leave a comment down below. So now, here, I'm adding some nutmeg. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I had to take the top off because I couldn't get it out of the board. So... I apologize for that, but that was a notification. <laughs> so now we're going to close this up and we're going to go in with the allspice. And like I said before, most of all these uh, spices are dark in color, but they are good beneficial for you and your body. I have these very spices in the spice book that I read to you guys. So check out the benefits of those. And most of them I've already done on videos, on live. So check it out. Now I'm going in now with the cloves, okay? And remember, all of these will be half teaspoons except the cinnamon, a full, table, uh, a full teaspoon. So now we got all the spices into the bowl. And I wanted to put them in the bowl because I wanted to mix them and blend them all together real well. Just like that there. Okay. Now I'm making, um, now I'm getting ready to make a little funnel with a piece of paper here in a little bit. But I had to get my clear glass spice jar that I used to have my Nashville hot uh, spice in <laughs> seasoning in. I clean my jar. I love to recycle my glass jars. So when I need to make something up, I already have it. Okay. So now I'm going in with a little homemade funnel <laughs> with a piece of paper. And I'm going to put them, that pumpkin spice in this jar. Now I did later on mark the jar pumpkin spice. But I like to mark it on the label. Okay, because I can always reuse these jars for other things. Okay, now check that out. Now we have the pumpkin spice ready to go before we get in with the walnuts. Let's start next with the walnuts. Okay, now we got the pumpkin spice here, and we're not going to start with the walnuts. I'm just going to show you everything that I have for this recipe. We have the walnuts, we have the brown sugar. Now, the original recipe says use cane sugar. But I'm going to use both, okay? And we have some vanilla flavoring. That was my alternate use. And then we have some uh, Himalayan salt. And we have some diamond uh, granulated sugar. Okay? Now, the, reg the original recipe requires uh, one cup and a half of walnuts, okay? But seeing though it's just me and my daughter, I'm just using a cup. Okay, so that's why I put it in that bowl, measure it out, because of course, you know, they was going to fall everywhere. <laughs> so I just decided to make sure I measure them out in something that I'm going to use. So now I measured those out. And the first thing they want you to do is in a dry pan, they want you to roast these uh, walnuts, okay, or any nut. They want, And the reason of that is because you want to get the flavor of the nut out, the nutty flavor. You know, and that's what gives that um, this uh, candy uh, type of um, uh, brittle. It's not a brittle, but that's what I call it, kind of like uh, the flavor. Okay, so now I'm going. Uh, now I'm roasting them on top. You're know, just kind of letting that flavor come out. And now I did that for five to seven minutes. And now I'm placing them back into the bowl that I originally used to measure them out in. Now we're going to go in and make the candy uh, filling, okay? Which is basically the, the coating for these walnuts, okay? Now, remember, I showed you some brown sugar that I had, but I already had some open. I found this, so I decided to go ahead and put it in there. I used a half a cup 
of brown sugar, okay? Now, the original recipe, like I said, asks for the white sugar, um, a full cup of white sugar, but I'm using a half a cup of brown sugar, okay? And I will be using some of that granulated sugar, that <coughs> Dymo granulated sugar, and I will be using, like, just under a one-fourth cup of that, okay? And you'll see that in the next segment. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to pour the half a cup of brown sugar in. And now I'm going in with just a little bit under a half a cup of, I mean, one-fourth cup of uh, granulated sugar. Just a little bit under there, okay? Now, of course, you can't see it because it's the whole cup. And I, I did it by eyeballing it because I know by how much to use. Now we're going in with the, it says sea salt, but I'm using Himalayan salt. The recipe requires sea salt, okay? And I guess that's because sea salt has a much more taste, stronger taste for you to taste the salt than uh, any other salt. But I still find that the Himalayan salt did just as well, okay? Um, so now this is why I go in with the pumpkin spice that I made. So now we're going in with the pumpkin spice. I have a one tablespoon, a measuring tablespoon that I'm going to measure this out in. Now I don't really fill this spoon up, so you can say that it was probably like a half a tablespoon of pumpkin spice, excuse me, that I put in there. Okay, and now I'm going in with the vanilla flavor, okay? And it's just, uh, a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavor. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and put this on the stove and let it do its thing, okay? Now, this is where it gets interesting, okay? Because I used brown sugar, I definitely needed to add a little water to this, but I didn't find this out until a little later on in the video. So I'm showing you my pan, my cookie sheet that I'm going to use, and I'm using parchment paper. Must line your cookie sheet with parchment paper or any sheet pan that you're going to use, okay? And uh, line it. I lightly coated mine with some Pam. You will see that in the next segment while I got the Pam, and I lightly sprayed it and coated it, okay? Now, you see how thick that this um, sugar is getting? So that is because of the maple that is inside of the brown sugar. Now I'm spraying my pan with that pan very lightly, okay? And I'm going to add a little water. See, I added a little water. Now get you a one-fourth cup of water, but you don't add it all together all at the same time. Just add it as you need it. Now I'm adding here the walnuts. I'm just coating them as fully as much as possible. Okay, then I have went back in with a little more water, which was about a one fourth cup of water. And you just keep cooking this until the water uh, evaporates out of there until it gets a little thick, like this here. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it real thick, but you want it just kind of like that, like a caramelization. And then the next step is you want to put in, put it on that parchment paper okay and spread it out all right so this is the next segment right here where we're going to place this here this um pumpkin spice uh coated uh candied walnuts on the parchment paper all right and then we want to spread it as evenly as possible as soon as fast as you can now the the recipe say use a fork but i use exactly what i um, had my spoon and it still worked the same <laughs> and um, you can use these nuts over many many things salads um, you can use them in salads you can use it over ice cream as a topping you can use them in popcorn as or crackers as a trail mix whatever you can eat them just like they are as a snack now I only had a few and I put some in, a yo in my yogurt so but you will see that soon and there we go. That's what they look like. Yeah, so because I used brown sugar and I used a, they say about almost a 
half a cup of brown sugar, yeah, about a half a cup of brown sugar, and I used a one fourth cup of regular sugar. Um, it took it a little more time to caramelize. I had to add at least about a a little bit under a one fourth cup of water. I just kind of drizzled a little water in there, just you know, just to get that uh, brown sugar to melt. Okay, you know. Uh, regular hard sugar melts, regular white sugar melts quicker than the brown sugar. But in order to get it the way I wanted it to be, you know, I had to add just a little bit of water. That part you did not see. But um, just say use a one-fourth cup of water and drizzle in there as a little bit as you can. And then just continue stirring until the liquid um, absorb in there and, and then become caramelized. But this is what they look like, y'all. They are on this sheet pan with the parchment paper. I lightly greased the pan, I mean the parchment paper, and they are almost cool, and they look so good. Oh, I can't wait to taste them for you guys. You can take these walnuts, you can do any type of nut like this if you choose to. You can do... Um, uh, mixed nuts, okay? Yeah, mixed nuts is what I was trying to say. <laughs> mixed nuts. And you can do this and after they're cool, put them in a, a tight seal container or a Ziploc bag. So you can uh, keep them and store them in your refrigerator or uh, probably like in a cool area, in a dark area place, whatever, cool, uh, in a tight container, okay? Now me, I will definitely, I believe you can might freeze them, but I'm not sure. I, I did not even notice that on the recipe but if anybody knows if you can freeze these type of nuts you know candy type of nuts comment down below and let me know okay leave that in the comments please but anyway i'm going to use these here a little few of them in my yogurt uh today because i have some uh greek yogurt and i'm going to use that and that's going to be my breakfast i just had my cup of tea but anyway you can use these a, a, a broad spectrum of use for these type of nuts, okay? Uh, salads. <laughs> One, uh, the chicken salads. Um, you can use it on muffins, whatever you choose to, okay? You can even toss them in with a popcorn, like make a little trail mix with popcorn and cereal and, you know, a little candy, whatever you want to do, okay? Now, if I do try the popcorn, I will definitely pop my own little air pop of popcorn that I do and then put me a couple of these nuts, just kind of just a few, maybe a handful, chop them up real fine and put them in there just to give that little sweet and salty taste. Y'all know I like to do my olive oil popcorn on the stove. <laughs> yes. And that's going to give me just a good old healthy treat right there. All right. So let's get in here and let me show you what they look like. Okay, y'all. So now they have cooled. They took them about fifth about 10 minutes to cool and now i am breaking them apart see look how they look they look scrumptious deliciousness <laughs> and you just must break them apart you know so they can be you know crumbled up not real crumbled but you know each uh walnut uh, separated from the other okay and then that's it you know they are ready to go now, you can also, I didn't mention this in the early part, but making these ahead of time and making them and putting them in like little gift uh, cans and little gift bags and uh, zip tie bags and, you know, wrapping them up as like a holiday gift or a birthday gift for someone would be wonderful if they don't have a nut allergy, <laughs> if they don't have a nut allergy. But this here, these um, walnuts, it was very delicious. I said to myself, I'm probably going to try this again next time. I'll probably try them with another nut, though. Uh, so I got put mine aside, that little cup there, for my yogurt. And this cup here, um, I actually put, put them down in a Ziploc bag um, after I got through crumbling them up and getting them separated. Um... But I put them in this this cup here for the <clears throat> to show you exactly what they look like after being crumbled and uh, both broken apart, so you can see them in the bowl. But I put them in a Ziploc bag and I store them in my refrigerator. And I think that they may store up to about three weeks, maybe two to three weeks in the refrigerator. But y'all, they are almost halfway gone already. This Dee Dee had her a bag of popcorn last night with some. If you guys want to know how I made these delicious 
pumpkin spice candy walnuts. Follow me over at Simple Meals by T Vlog. That's right, Simple Meals by T Vlog. And waste the wordings. Love you guys. Bye. And it was just a simple ingredients, but I'll also show you how to make your own pumpkin spice seasoning for these. Look at that, y'all. You can put them on salads. You can put them in style chicken salads, turkey salads. You can even just mix them with popcorn, whatever you want to do with them, y'all. Get in there. I'm topping mine with a little yogurt. Here's my little small bowl right there. And they're going on top of me some yogurt. See you guys. Bye. These are so good. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to eat too much of them because it's sugar. But, on here. But y'all, don't sleep on pumpkin spice. Okay, y'all, you can use it. And every spice in there has a good medicinal property for your body. Cloves, ginger, allspice, um, cinnamon, Come on, y'all. It's only called pumpkin spice because these are all the spices we put in our pumpkin puree or fresh pumpkin pies or whatever. And try it. Mm. Now, if you're allergic to the spices, don't try it. But y'all, try this recipe. I bet you don't, don't sleep on it. How about the spices you're allergic to? But do it just exactly how I did it on the video. Bye, y'all. I told y'all I was going to put on my yogurt. I, I'm not gone. Yes, I'm not gone, y'all. This is my wheat uh, non-fat yogurt. You know when your yogurt is plain and you want something to make it taste good, all you do is get in there and Stir that yogurt around. <clears throat> Stir it around, make it upside down. Stir it around, make it upside down. I like to put this on top of my yogurt. And it's good for me. The spices inside. Now, the only thing that I ain't really good for me is the sugar, okay? Yes, let's not kick it. You know, because this here shouldn't do too much, okay? And I'm just going to sprinkle just a couple of those on there. And, <laughs> and then I'm going to, see I got a little bit right there in that yogurt cup. Look at that, y'all. Look. Close them to you. Breakfast. Already started. Mmm. Yes, y'all. Mmm. It's good. Bye-bye.